Hey guys, Psyche Pictures here. Welcome back to more Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we passed a test in the Dragon's Den and got ourselves the Rising Badge from Claire. In this episode, we're here at the Safari Zone Gate. So, let's go in. Hi, you. I've been waiting for you. The test is ready. This time, I, can you catch a Sandshrew and show it to me? Sandshrew? Sounds easy, right? Not really. Sandshrew will not appear with the current Safari Zone setting. And that's where this comes in handy. This sophisticated high-tech machine lets you customize Safari Zone areas. I call it the Area Customizer. Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant. You know how it works, don't you? It's a secret. Well, it, you shouldn't have trouble operating it. Talk to the staff next to me. Hmm? I almost forgot. I was in the middle of explaining the second test, wasn't I? You will not see Sandshrew in the current Safari Zone areas. You So you need to use the area customizer to change them. Sandshrew live in the desert. Good luck. Turn on the area customizer. Here, switch that with the. So we. This is the area that we need. Yes, desert. So I'm going to go and uh, put in the areas that we need to get to. So desert. This one is the. Where's the rocky? Rocky Beach. Actually, hold on. Let me let me just check some. Let me just um. Let me just do something real quick. Hold on. So here we need the forest. Forest. Then we need the marshland here. Marshland. Here is the rocky beach. Beach. Here is the desert. Here is the uh, swamp. Swamp. That can stay the same. So there's one, two, three, four, five. P five places we want to look for Pokemon in. So, five places for certain Pokemon. Alright, there we go. Safari Zone areas have been swapped. Alright, welcome to the Safari Zone. $500. Yes. 30 Safari Balls. Hooray! Alright. And this is not at night, so... Actually, it's not at night. Okay. Uh, I honestly did not expect to have this not be night. I forgot about, I forgot about that certain area. I forgot that most Pokemon don't appear at night here. So let's go to the forest. Here we have two new Pokemon. Um, if I can find one. If I can have some up here, that'd be nice. First off, we have Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. It's an okay Pokemon. It, um, it isn't the best Pokemon out there. It isn't the worst Pokemon out there. It mainly specializes in special defense, if I'm recalling correctly. And overall, Mr. Mime is... Oh, wow, I caught it already. And it's a Mrs. Mime. It's a girl. Yay. Um, but Mr. Mime overall is pretty okay. It's not the best out there, it's not the worst out there, but it's a pretty good psychic type overall, still. And if I can find the other one, no. The other one is. Oh, by the way, you cannot find Mr. Mime at night. And the next Pokemon here is 
Mystery Vis. Mystery Vis is quite possibly one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I really like Mystery Vis, but I fully admit that it isn't the best Pokemon. It's not that good of a ghost type in Generation 2. In Generation 4, it got a really needed evolution, but, um, but yet again, the evolution is outclassed, but the evolution's pretty good. I'm not talking about the evolution anymore, because you can't get it in the main story. Mischievous is all you're getting in the main story. So, if I can find it, it'd be awesome. Or can it only be found at night? I don't know. But Mischievous overall, I think is pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Uh, not the best Pokemon out there, but it works. It does good. Alright, let's continue on. Oh, there's a Pidgey in here. That's rare, I think, in this. Never mind. I, I'm surprised I didn't see that much Pidgey there. That many Pidgey. I'm s mainly seeing Bellsprout and Mr. Mine. It's weird. Let me get my trusty guidebook out to see if there's any other... If Mr. Vis really is only at night. And I'm trying to play and get my guidebook out at the same time. So, yeah, that's not ideal. Let me see. Okay, so let me see if there's another Pokemon in here. Whoa! As soon as I ask, Mr. Vis. I have never seen one of these in Pokemon Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, Gold, Silver, or Crystal. I've never seen them anywhere except for Mount Silver. Dang it! It fled. Let me just check real quick. This is the forest. Oh, sorry. And there... Mr. Vis you can find here, but it's at night where it is very common. And it's only okay to find in uh, in the day or morning. In the morning or afternoon. So let's continue on. Let's continue on to the marshland. Which is right here. Marshland! There are two new Pokemon here. One of them is coughing. Uh, hold on, wait. Didn't we go over coughing in the um? Hold on, wait. I'm looking at my other notes because I got two different notes for this. Isn't one of the? Isn't coughing supposed to be in the um, burn tower? Coughing was supposed to be in the burn tower, but apparently I never went over it. Apparently, I never went over coughing in the Burn Tower. Weezing? I didn't know you could catch Weezing here, too. But, um... Either way, coughing! Coughing is a pretty good physical tank. And, overall, it is good at taking hits, good at uh, being a poison type. It actually has Levitate for the ability as well, which takes away one of its, um, takes away one of its weaknesses being ground. And then it evolves at level 35 into Weezing, where it only gets stronger in terms of defense. And as you see, as you saw, lots of Team Rocket members had, I had an easier time catching Weezing than coughing. Okay. Overall, coughing is very good, and wheezing is even better. Next up, I don't even want a... Never mind, I was just about to flee, and then coughing fled. Next up here, we have... Another wheezing. But, we also have Grimer here. Grimer. 
Grimer is a special defensive Pokemon. And it can be found while surfing, by the way. That's why I'm surfing. But, uh, Coffin... Grimer, I mean. Oh, you can also find Wooper here. Grimer is pretty good with special defense. It's pretty much the special counterpart of Coughing, in a way. <clears throat> so, it's pretty good at doing special defense, but since it's a poison type, and since it's a poison type, and psychic types usually have high defense, high special attack, this isn't as good. I mean, hold on, no, 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 no. It is good that it has high special defense because of psychic types being so good with special attacks. And, um, it evolves at level 38 into Muck. Muck just gets better. It is a very good Pokemon in terms of special defense, but it's not going to be doing much else in terms of attacking. Alright, and now I find a Grimer. After I'm done talking about it. <clears throat> Let's see if I can catch it. I'd appear to be caught and bled. Oh well. Next up! We have this... Alright, next area. We have... Another Pokemon in the Rocky Beach. So in the Rocky Beach... We have two new Pokemon. Oh, actually, yeah, you have two new po- Wait, what? You can find that one here. One Pokemon you can find in the Rocky Beach. One of them you can find in the grass. One of them you can find while surfing. My dog just threw a toy so high it almost hit the, ce it almost hit the ceiling. Okay. And, um, so, Rocky Beach. Let's see if I can actually find this stupid Pokemon in the Rocky Beach. It's in the Rocky Beach, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's in the Rocky Beach. It says it's supposed to be very common, but apparently it's not. Let's see if I can find it, though. Slowpoke? Nope. That's not it. And you can find so many of those in the Slowpoke well. Uh, by Azalea Town. Let me see! Come on! I want to see the Pokémon that I need... ...to talk about. Come on! Not Krabby. Which, if you want Krabby for the... Um... ...for finding the... Ah. Okay, never mind. Doduo! Doduo is the Pokémon that I wanted to find here. Doduo is incredibly fast... And, in, in terms of speed, it's pretty good. In terms of everything else, it's okay, but outclassed. I personally think that uh, the Pidgey family is better. But a lot of people really like Doduo. And I can see that it actually is a very good Pokemon. I just don't think it's as good as some other Pokemon. So, Doduo evolves at level 31, and it's not not found at night, by the way. It evolves at level 31 into Dodrio. Dodrio is, again, very good, but it's outclassed in terms of stats. But overall, it is incredibly good, incredibly well worth the wait. And if you train it up, to a Dodrio, your reward is great. Now, if I can find the next Pokemon while surfing, that'd be awesome, but I'll be talking about it anyway because I think it's kind of rare. Actually, it's not rare, but it's um, the rarest one out of all the water surface Pokemon, which is Lapras. Lapras is really good. It is incredible in terms of special stats, and is very good in terms... Oh, there it is! 
Lapras is so good. It is a very good Pokemon. You can only find it in this area while surfing. And it is... I can't sing any high praise of it. Any more high praise of it. It is really good. Yeah, I caught it. Nice. So, Lapras is overall very good. Very worth your time. And just is incredible. Transport Pokemon. Give a nickname to Lapras? No. Alright, nice. Next up we have... The first area, which is the... Um, swamp, I think, actually. I think this is a swamp. Yeah, this is a swamp area. But let's go and see if we can find the one new Pokemon that's in the swamp area. I think that's one. Yeah, it's one new Pokemon and it's decently rare. There's one new Pokemon here and it's decently rare. Um, it's very common at night, though. But you can still find it in the daytime. This is another Jigglypuff. Okay, I'm just going to explain this next Pokemon. Murkrow. You can find Murkrow in the swamp. Murkrow? Again. Oh my gosh. I finally found it. Jeez. Murkrow is... Decent? But... Desperately needed an evolution, which it got in Generation 4, but unfortunately that's not available to us yet. Murkrow is just a decent Pokemon overall. It's very outclassed, and in overall is not a good Pokemon to have on your team. Unless you have a way to have its evolution. Its evolution is much better, and it fixes most of the problems that came with uh, Mur Murkrow. Lots of the problems that came with Murkrow. Alright, next up is one more area and we have one more new Pokemon to find there. Uh, by the way, Murkrow is very, very common at night, where as in the daytime you're going to have a bit more trouble finding it. Here in the desert, we have one new Pokemon. Whoa! Hi, Sandslash. I don't need you. So let's just run from you. Uh, we got one new Pokemon in the desert. Hey, Sandshrew. How you doing? I'm gonna catch you on a ball. Hopefully. Yay, I caught Santru. Hooray. All right. Now now I've completed Mr. whoever's challenge. Bauba's challenge. So, next up, we have a sand slash. Okay. Uh, next up. Yes, there we go. Cubone. Cubone is the Pokemon that we can find here in the desert that we cannot normally find. Find. And it cannot be found in, uh, at night. So, oh, wow, we caught it already. It cannot be found at night, so be careful about when you try to catch this thing. So, Cubone. Cubone is a pretty good Pokemon. It's not the best, not the worst, but it's still, overall, a good Pokemon. It evolves at level 28 into Marowak. Marowak, again, is pretty good. Again, it's outclassed, but it's got a good attack stat, if I'm recalling correctly. From, for most ground types, and it actually did 
it actually is very good in terms of what it can do. Did you catch your fill of Pokemon? Yep, I did. He's come again. Show me Sandshrew once you've done. Once you're done. Alright. So now I need to show him desert. Uh, yes, I need to show him the desert. Maybe that's what he wants for dessert. He wants the desert for dessert. Put all the Pokemon that I use often in the third PC. All right. <clears throat> all right. Got the Sandshrew out there. Let's go show it to Balba. Balba or something like that. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce his name. You did it! You caught a Sandshrew! I knew you could do it. You passed the test. Now you're now the Safari Zone owner. I've always wanted to see young people playing at the Safari. I thought I might get some new ideas that should help you compete, complete your Pokedex. That's what I've been thinking. By the way, though you are now the Safari Zone owner, would you kindly continue to pay admission? We have our reasons. Don't be upset, I'll just, I'll keep thinking about how I create new fun ways to help you complete your Pokedex. Go have fun at the Safari Zone. I will let you know as soon as I come up with something new, using the Poke Gear. Yay, I'm the owner of a Safari Zone that I have to pay for. Anyway. So, with that out of the way, this has been Psyche Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time where we explore south of uh, Blackthorn City. So, flyer. Oh my gosh. There we go. Let's go to Bla south of Blackthorn City in the next episode. This has been Psyche Pictures, and I'll see you guys next time.